Hey everyone, welcome back to How They Were Formed. Today we're taking a look at how G-Ida was discovered and formed from trainee life all the way to debut. Also, comment down below who your bias is and your bias record. Pity rhymes with... Liddy. Do you remember when we first met? Because I do. Was it? Was it? Was it? <laughs> Real quick, have you checked out the In My Feels podcast with JRE and Emily Hadel? It's a new podcast that launched last year and has some of your favorite artists on as guests like Amber Lou, BM, Villain, Pinol, Alexa, Ace, One Team, and more. You can listen on any podcast platform and as a premium follower of In My Feels on the Himalaya app, you can even enter their mini concert ticket and signed album giveaways as well as a full length video interviews of what you are seeing here, plus more for only $4.99 a month. If you're interested, at all use the promo code here for one free month if you're looking for a place to chill outside of k-pop and chill make sure to check out emma feels with jerry and emily hadel right after getting your fill here i really realized i gave you whenever <laughs> i saw jerry kml's reaction to my music yes are you ready for this watch this podcast guys now let's go Mian was born in 1997 in Incheon, South Korea. Mian recalls enjoying music first through her father and began taking media classes in school to learn to compose and write lyrics. Mian started her auditioning to become a K-pop idol way back in middle school, where she was without a doubt a gem. <laughs> auditioning and becoming a YG Entertainment trainee in 2010, where she trained and almost debuted with Blackpink, making Blackpink a five-member group today and a lot would have changed. But Mian decided to leave YG Entertainment in 2015, probably making the best move she could to join Cube Entertainment where she debuted as the main vocalist of G Idol. Minnie was born in 1997 in Bangkok, Thailand. Minnie got into music by taking piano classes at only four years old, as she followed in the footsteps of the rest of her family who also play piano. Piano and vocal lessons were Minnie's beginning in music when she later joined G Vocal Studio. That is the same school as the one Sorn from CLC attended in Thailand. It was when a teacher there suggested she should try to audition for Cube Entertainment in Thailand that landed her a promising opportunity. After passing, Minnie made the move to South Korea, joining Cube as a trainee in 2015. Minnie's velvety and full vocals made her stand out among others and led her to debut with G-Idol as the main vocalist. Sujin was born in 1998 in Hongsung, South Korea where when she was little, her mom put her in jazz dance classes. The passion for music would begin to grow until she asked her parents if she could audition to be a K-pop idol. Her father was against it, but after two long years of not letting it go, he finally agreed she should try. She would later join a small company and debut not with G-Idol, but with a girl group called Vividia. <laughs> The group would only last for barely a year before disbanding in 2016. Sujin didn't stop and brought that experience to Cube Entertainment's auditions. Joining as a trainee in the same year her last group disbanded. Sujin wasn't revealed to the public even when she appeared in her fellow group members music video Soyeon's Jelly. Up on the jelly. Okay if you bopped to that you're, you're a true G idol OG. But finally, the world saw Sujin for the first time debuting with G-Idol as the main dancer. Soyeon was born in 1998 in Seoul, South Korea. Now Soyeon is a really interesting person. She used to learn ballet, but wasn't able to do what most kids do as she was homeschooled as a child. Soyeon mentioned that growing up, Big Bang and G-Dragon inspired her to become an artist, and even auditioned for Cube performing G-Dragon's song This Love. As a Cube trainee, she was known as the Short Unni because she was only 5'2", but is older than others and possesses this mature mentality about her. As only a trainee, Cube let Soyeon challenge herself in survival shows, first appearing in the first season of Produce 101 in 2016, where she consistently did well ranking A in the company and pick me up evaluations, even impressing with not only her rap, but vocals as well. Soyeon made it all the way up to the final to finish in 20th place. Not only that, but Soyeon also competed in Unpretty Rap Star 3, going up against established hip hop artists and K-pop idols. She went almost all the way again and finished third. Definitely ready, Soyeon debuted as the charismatic leader of G Idol and even helped in the composing of the debut album. Listen, she's got more talent in her pinky toe than my whole body.
Wuki was born in 1999 in Beijing, China. Growing up in China, Wuki was introduced to K-pop and Korean entertainment by watching Running Man and becoming a fan of Super Junior's music. In high school, Wuki showed her ability in dance, becoming the president of the street dance club at her school. Taking the chance like many others, she auditioned for Cube Entertainment in China in 2014. After passing, she left her home in order to train in Korea alone, becoming an official Cube Entertainment trainee in 2017. While being heavily inspired by other Chinese idols that made it in K-pop, Wuki still became her own artist with unique charms like her surprisingly deep voice. <laughs> and innocent looks, debuting as the lead dancer in G Idol. Last but not least, Shua was born in 2000 in Taiyuan County, Taiwan. It seemed like she already decided what she wanted to do when she was very young. Watching TV, she really wanted to become an actor, telling her family she would be on TV someday. Growing up, she would practice every day, but that dream would soon change to K-pop. When in middle school, Shuhua's friends showed her K-pop songs and soon she wanted to become a singer instead. Out of those K-pop artists, Shuhua really loved Hyuna. So when Cube Entertainment came to Taiwan in 2016 to hold auditions, Shuhua tried out. Joining Cube in 2016, Shuhua began training but found it very difficult for the same reason many non-Koreans do. It was already difficult to learn dance and singing but especially to learn a whole new language. But with support from her group members, Shuhua debuted as the vocalist, visual, and magne of G Idol. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed, please hit that like. And remember, 84% of my viewers, you guys, are not subscribed yet. So hit that subscribe and the bell so you don't miss a new video. You already enjoy my content, so why not? And G Idol, I'm glad we can call them G Idol now because they, they already call themselves G Idol. I was confused. I was calling them Giddle the whole time. I'm just kidding, but oh my god, is they stopped making music videos and they started making films like this is oscar worthy stuff they're making right now let me know what you think about giado's recent comeback and of course your bias and your bias record down below i want to see what it is for me it's it's all so young and after this I gotta make more changes to the bias list. And also be sure to check out the Inma Feels podcast with J.R.E. and Emily Hadel. It's some entertaining stuff and it's perfect for the quarantine season. Also wanna give a quick shout out to the patrons making these videos possible. If you wanna help support, head over to Patreon, consider supporting there. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Annyeong.